Misty Marshall. Stephanie Morton. Larry James Williams, Jr. Dominique Wilson. Please give these students a, a round of applause. They certainly <laughs> do. Now I'd like to introduce, you can be seated. I'd like to introduce Dr. John Rigney for congratulations. What a great evening, and what a historic occasion. I am so pleased to bring you greetings from the main campus of Lindsay, Lindsay Wilson College in Columbia, Kentucky, and to uh, be here to participate in this ceremony and to congratulate this fine class. There's so many people we need to thank tonight on this occasion. Uh, I'd like to thank Bluegrass Community Technical College. Bluegrass has uh, been so uh, helpful to us throughout the process and worked with uh, us so uh, wonderfully in helping to make this happen, and they certainly deserve our thanks and our gratitude. Uh, of course, I'd like to thank Stacy for all the work she has done. She does a remarkable job here. And, I know you guys know how, how much uh, she's done to help you uh, get through this program. I would, I'd like to recognize another group of people that uh, this would not have happened had, had it not been for them, uh, and that is the uh, faculty of the School of Professional Counseling. And we have several of them here tonight, and would you guys please stand? You know, it's, 
it's uh, remarkable the quality of folks we've been able to assemble, and it's remarkable the work they do. Um, you know, their weekends are gone forever. <laughs> so uh, they, they, uh, they just keep going to school. Uh, they don't graduate. But I really appreciate the work that they do. Uh, it's a beautiful building here, and thank those who readied this church for us. It's a great facility, and thank you for that. You know, this is historic. It is incredibly unique, uh, uh, this event tonight, because you are the first. Uh, there may be larger classes than you that will come after. Uh, there may be classes that are uh, better looking. No, that couldn't be, could it, guys? That's probably another distinction. You're also going to be the best looking class that's ever graduated. But one thing's for sure, there'll never be a first class again. And so this is historic. You have broken ground here in Lexington, and, and it is an incredible night. And so I'm here to congratulate you, and uh, I would like to ask the graduates to stand. And having fulfilled all of the requirements for the Bachelor of Arts in Counseling and Human Services in the School of Professional <coughs> Counseling through Lindsay Wilson College, it is now my pleasure to ask you to change your tassel. And you may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce um, Susan Patterson who is a School of Professional Counseling instructor, and um, these students had um, requested that they have a special speaker, and we chose her. And um, she's been, uh, had a huge impact on this group of students, and they've really enjoyed having her in her class. Thank you, Stephanie. Stephanie, I'm looking at Stephanie. Thank you, Stacy. Um, I am a big hugger, as you all know, and I was absolutely paralyzed by Dominique's poem that I was standing there very stoically, unable to touch you all. I was so moved by your poem. I will hug you all personally later. Thank you for the opportunity to speak briefly. I have um, assembled quite an impressive professional library in my career, so um, it might shock you that this is nothing highly intellectual. It's um, Dr. Seuss. I do not bring this to insult your intelligence. I bring it, um, actually, uh, one of the coordinators from soon to be former coordinators from Ashland. Um, Amy Holsinger introduced me to this book last year and it really touched my heart. So it's not deep, it's very simple. It is called, The Places You Will Go. Congratulations, today is your day. You're off to great places, you're off and away. You have brains in your head, you have feet in your shoes, you can steer yourself any direction you choose. You're on your own, and you know what you know, and you are the guy who'll decide where to go. You'll look up and down streets, look over them with care. About some you will say, I don't choose to go there. With your head full of brains and your shoes full of feet, you're too smart to go down any not so good street. And you may find some you will not go down at all. In that case, of course, you'll head straight out of town. I'm just gonna read part of it. It's opener there in the wide open air. Out there things can happen and frequently do 